this is somewhat old news at this point, but because I'm a whiny vegan, I really feel the need to add my two cents to this. Lifting Vegan Logic made a video on this, uh, so I'm kind of just ripping off him. So if you could go over there and subscribe if you haven't already, and that might discount me completely ripping him off. So if you're familiar with Jeffree Star, he was very popular, especially back in the day, there was a lot of controversy surrounding him because he's kind of not, he's kind of, so I'm sadly a bit too familiar with his online persona. And uh, well, he did another thing that's just a bit icky. And the H3, H3 podcast with Ethan Klein, they've had history with Jeffree Star and they were shocked by the new thing that he's done. What has he done? Well, previously he had a bunch of yaks as pets and recently he's made a business selling the bodies of yaks don't worry though they're not his pets so that's fine or is it yeah crazy stuff he Fucking now nuts. um is promoting his yak meat what straight up baby i know for real <laughs> jerky jerky we've got frozen meat jerky. we've got ground yak meat yeah so this album that dan's showing on the screen these are just some of the beautiful moments that he shared with his yaks, no. cuddling with them. And there really are magical creatures. So Cam cute. was saying that his dream is to own a yak. You were saying something like that, wasn't it, Cam? Well, I would, I would love to trade places with Jeffrey, but I would treat them with love and kindness and give them kisses on the forehead and never kill them and sell them as meat. I love them so much, and I'm sad. That That's very sweet, Cam. You know a lot what? more comes with trade. You want to yak Jeffrey, off, though. Cam? Hey, I want to yak off. Cam, Jeffrey said that one year ago, so... Let's yeah, check yeah, in. Yeah, let's check in. Mark the calendar. <laughs> I, I, I was watching some TikToks where he was saying this, like, taking care of them was his mental health. Uh, like, was the <laughs> different mental health. It's interesting how this person would never kill them or do any harm to them. In fact, they'd give them loads of kisses. But as far as I understand, no one on this podcast is vegan. So they'd pay for other animals to be stabbed. Kill. Health and everything. And <laughs> he God. said it's helping it was mental health. Yeah. Yeah, he Yeah, it really it, it it's really awesome blowing off steam. Sucks the souls of his yaks. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah. Using this fucking, uh what are those called um like the bolt gun or whatever that they use to Cattle prod? Gun gun? Oh, oh, like, like in no, in, country uh, no country no man. I don't know how much you guys said about it. But... Well, we pretty much explained the backlash that Jeffrey got a year ago when he was getting patents for all this stuff, but we haven't talked about what he did recently, which is right here. Okay, so this is great. Everyone's seen that Jeffrey moved to like Wyoming or something and he's been growing yaks. And so far, like up until now, it's just like, these are my best friends. These are my therapy animals. I love my yaks. They're so beautiful. You know, here he is. I mean, beautiful, right? I mean, gorgeous, gentle creatures, beautiful, majestic animals, right? Um, look at these beautiful animals. Those are some yaks right there, boy. So here he is with his yaks. He loves them. Then all of a sudden, this fucking lunatic. Oh, did he even he put out a video saying he wouldn't eat his yaks? So this was a year ago, whenever he was getting backlash Golly, the first time. man. Yeah. This man's filter is not doing him any favors. It's kind of weird that the focus seems to be on the worry that Jeffrey is killing his pets and selling them. Never mind the general issues surrounding commodifying and killing animals in general. If they're your pet, no, suddenly, suddenly that's wrong. To be fair, I could see how it would come off as more callous and worse, but why isn't killing them and commodifying them in the first place bad to begin with? All of a sudden, this absolute lunatic, it's like serial killer behavior, tweets out this fucking photo we did a yak meat pop-up in wyoming today and hundreds of people came out in just 12 hours it was beautiful to see so many locals shop our usda inspected grass fed meat my online store will be launching next month this dude with no setup you know no easing in straight up ground yak Interesting how it could be compared to something like serial killing. It's like serial killer behavior. Until someone like Ethan wants to purchase the body of an animal. Can someone make it make sense? There's no way he's making money from this either. The point is the cruelty. He wanted to ground these poor, beautiful <laughs> creatures up and sell them. So we can also call it cruelty. 
He's not profiting from it. He's not gaining anything from it. It's just to be cruel. Yet it is the case that people like Ethan and Jeffrey, they don't require biologically the bodies and secretions of animals, so they don't need to do it. So isn't it cruel also in that case? People are allowed to change their mind. People are allowed to evolve their idea. It's so weird, because I've been keeping to myself for a few years, bitch, you know I never go on. Remember the old days with Snapchat rants? Oh my god, girl. When the beauty industry was at its height and we'd hop on here every day and- ah! How are you evolving? By creating a business that kills and commodifies other sentient beings? I like, that is devolution, if I ever saw it. But, I do want to say one thing that's funny. People are so weird. Because it's me, it's gonna be something always different, right? Bitch, I'm not a hypocrite. I'm not a liar. Well, you are. You've been in this position multiple times. You have animals you would never want to be killed. You probably wouldn't think it would be justified for them to be killed. Yet somehow it's justified for these yaks to be killed. And what's that dog sound edited? Or is that just perfect timing? Bitch, I'm not a hypocrite. And I mean, I'll just let LVL take over for this next bit. Bought a ranch. Months later, the idea evolved. I educated myself where the food I was putting into my I bought a ranch I started raising yak for the purpose of just taking care of them and making them feel good and then I educated myself and learned that I can actually murder them for profit oh my goodness body came from and bitch I didn't give a f about myself hi I ate McDonald's every day I was promoting Taco Bell like it was Chanel disgusting I'm so disappointed in myself I mean hello I got sponsored by Taco Bell I did so many videos with fast food and I'm like that's just not me anymore, bitch. I'm, I'm a different person. This could convey multiple things. Like, is it bad that you were promoting Taco Bell because it's unhealthy? Or have you bought into this kind of trope that, oh, well, if you do it locally, you know, a bit of local stabbing, then actually it's perfectly ethical to do. It sounds more like the latter, which is uh, concerning. Um, so, no, I'm not a liar. Um, I started raising yaks over a year ago, and I still have a hundred... 20 pets and the only yaks that you guys have ever seen on social media are my pets any tag with a name is my pet people are so i think if you just don't like me in general you're just hopping on this thing today maybe it's memorial day weekend you're bored but i'm like girl stop making up in your heads people are literally making up their own narratives so you wouldn't kill the yaks that are your pets but you would kill other yaks oh that's fine then. I get that it would be confusing to see people giving you shit for that because these are the same people who would probably be absolutely fine with a general yak or a general cow or pig being killed, but not someone's pet though. It doesn't really make much sense. No, it doesn't make sense at all. It's probably because in both instances it's wrong regardless of their relation to you. You're slaughtering Swiss chocolate and buster. No, they're actually right outside the window grazing on the grass. And what are the others who you didn't name? And because they didn't have a name, they were worthy of a knife. Cool. They're semen <laughs> to impregnate a lot of girls and have some amazing babies. Amazing babies who will one day grow up to be killed and sold. Amazing. Yeah. But I've ever sold a yak before, what I do all day. It may be a little bit of a shocker to some people, but baby, relax, take a Xanax, take a hit, go get some fresh air. Anything to not concern yourself with what I'm doing, because the world's already so fucked up, right? Yeah, it is fucked up, largely due to our lack of respect for the autonomy and lives of others. I think that's probably a, a large portion of why things seem so unfair and wrong. What you're doing is simply adding to it and making it worse. Get you. And what you're doing involves others in such an invasive way. So it shouldn't just be about, well, oh, what I'm going on and doing, like, leave me to it. Okay, this is my business, not yours. Yeah, well, maybe if you weren't involving others in such an invasive way, uh, there wouldn't be a problem. But uh, you are, so there is. Funny how that works. I'm not trying to be dramatic, you guys, but our world's f right now, right? Like, it's getting worse every day. America's trying to take away women's rights, and y'all are worried about me feeding the community. Oh, here we go. Let's just talk about, oh yeah, women's rights are being stripped away. Well, what's the difference between me, a human woman, and another animal that would justify exploiting them and taking their rights away? We're talking about commodifying, exploiting, and killing these other animals. Why are you going to talk about, oh, how terrible it is that women's rights are being stripped from them while you're literally stripping the rights away from others? 
Fuck you. Let's go got to give a thousand pounds of meat away. Got to donate to people that were in need of food, like in this community of Casper. It was beautiful. Never promoted it. Didn't talk about it. Didn't feel the need to. Wow. Aren't you noble? You've inspired me. I think what I'm going to do later is go down the dog shelter. I'm going to get every single one of them. I'm going to kill them and I'm gonna donate them to the food bank. Nobody can criticize me, because I'm feeding people. There's no other context to be added to this, because as long as I'm feeding people in need, it's absolutely justified what I'm doing. <sighs> Fuck off. Hop on here, but oh, look what I donated. You know, it's like, no, I just do me behind the scenes. You do you, and you also do in others behind the scenes. Entire life, gone. But, I get it, Jack does a vegan makeup brand for a living. Y'all know I eat meat every day, when have I ever claimed to be vegan? Yeah, we knew it was a for-profit move. Jeffrey has worn real fur in the past, and been generally quite awful. It's not a shock. And she had to evolve past that, and I was one of the people to help push vegan in the industry, and the beauty industry needed it. The old days of crushed beetles and makeup and whale fat and all this crazy stuff, you guys, like, that was so disturbing. And there's a whole different industry than farming. How is it different? Because you eat them afterwards? Yeah, because I'm sure a victim cares about what you do with their body afterwards. Yes. Hi, neighbor hunted a deer and he has food in his freezer for his family for a year. No, sir, you don't understand, right? All right, you might be angry at me because I, I did kill this dog, but I am going to barbecue them afterwards and feed my family. So it's absolutely fine. Yeah, I estimate that with all the dogs in the shelter right now, I'll be able to feed myself and my family for an entire year. So nobody can criticize me. Plus, the dog shelter's local. So the stabbing that I do will somehow be better. Jeffree Star once again being the top tier ethical person that he is. Well, that's enough pain for one day. Jeffree Star, another person who's filthy, dirty rich, and with that money and influence is deciding to do some really shit things to others. So I guess we're gonna just have to keep being whiny vegans until people wake the fuck up and just leave others alone. Will the day ever come? I don't know, but God. Let's keep trying, hey? I do hope you've enjoyed this video today. Big shout out to Lifting Vegan Logic. Go over and subscribe. Anyway, I do hope you're well. I hope this video cured your vegan content deficiency. And until next time, sal lads, I will see you soon.